So we're going to get started. This is real brief, uh, real. This is one of the man ups. I, I do, try to do one or two every year. Just man up, just hits points that we as men need to hear. And, um, you know, it's good to be at a church where we get this. Amen. 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 So we thank God that we have this church where God can speak through a man to us as men, sharpen us, turn us into better men. Amen. Amen. Because that's all of our goal is becoming, becoming a better man. Right. That's the goal. That's the goal. That's what we want. So we thank God for that. Amen. Amen. Um, and, you know, when you come to a church like this, it's good to have the right posture to understand that sometimes what is being preached or what is being said is not going to agree with you. It's not going to agree with your feelings. It's not going to agree sometimes with what you thought or many times what you wanted to do. But we have to understand that if you place yourself here, you place yourself in a place that you trust with information that could help you change some things right if they need to be changed and that's cool that we're able to change where my where my man with the haircut where yeah i don't mean the single you out there he is right there so i drove up and jonathan was with me my wife's out of town so jonathan was with me and we drove up and he said is that a new member and i said yeah i, I think so like he, he, he looked new Come to find out, this is a brother that had the dread. Stand up, brother. He had the dread. He cut his hair. He said he got convicted Sunday. I don't mean to put you on the spot, but that's a blessing. That's a blessing. He said he was just Sunday. He was just like, you know, I'm going to just cut it. And, you know, I went through the same thing. And several of you in here had hair, long hair like mine was. And, amen. I, I was like that, too. I was growing them. And, I mean, I, I told you, there's only one picture that exists. And it's so funny, Elder Willie has that picture. <laughs> he the only one got a picture of it. I didn't let nobody take my picture because I wasn't sure. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so it's a blessing that he heard the word. And nobody had to tell him nothing. He heard the word conviction set in and he figured, you know, and he looked good too. Amen. Amen. And that's... That's just the part of it. That's just what we're doing here. And hopefully something that is said can do the same thing for you and just make some changes. Don't get mad. Look at somebody and say, don't get mad. Because you can't whoop nobody in here. So you might as well just not get mad. Amen. Um, AdamantBeliever.com forward slash man up 2023. Solid. Amen. We're going to talk about being solid. There are lines that Christian men should not cross. These are the lines. Now, listen to this. There are lines that we as Christian men should not cross. And these are the straight lines that form the path to your destiny in God. So if you keep crossing lines, your path is not straight. You got to stay in the lines. Oh, you got to stay in the lines. If you keep crossing them, you'll get out of bounds. When you bend, break, or erase these lines, you are in jeopardy of failing to reach your full potential in this life. So there has to be lines everyone needs guidance amen. amen and in order to have guidance everyone needs a guide amen, amen. amen. and that you're gonna have to open your mouth and ask for guidance and you're gonna have to put yourself in position to receive guidance these are very important this is what is ruining our church ruining our people, especially African Americans as a whole, because we all want to be our own authorities. We want to be our own authorities and we want to be our own guide. And you're not, you, you shouldn't be that for yourself. Amen. Amen. You need guidance. You need help when you are trying to fulfill the destiny that God has in you. 
And when you bend, break, or erase these lines, you are in jeopardy of failing to reach your full potential. A lot of people die without reaching their potential. A lot of people die failures. Yeah. And they gather folks around and I'm sorry, I wish I hadn't done this. I wish I hadn't done this. And die with nothing but regrets because they moved the lines. They crossed the lines. They erased the lines, bent them. They broke them. All of those things. And you got to stand strong no matter what. Amen? Amen. 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 You know, I was, I was telling someone this morning, I was talking at the picnic, and I was telling them, you know, there's a lot of my old musician friends that want to come here and want to play, of course, and be at the church. And no. No, we got musicians. What do we need you for? Yeah, but you know, Doc, you know me. I know you. I know you, but you crossed all the lines. You bent all the lines. You erased all the lines. I ain't got no use for you here. Amen. And I don't care who you are. Folk grew up with me, folks. All of that. I, man. No, your instability would be a cancer to, the, to what we got going on. We don't have instability up here. Amen. And that, that took a process. That took time. I don't care how good you are. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't doing that. Amen. Yo, know, y'all should read some of the emails I get. Doc, you ought to let me come and, 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 and share this and do this and do. No. No. Because you, you bend lines. And we don't do that here. Amen. Amen. In order to be solid, we must establish these three things. First, who you are. You must establish who you are. If you always wondering who you are and always looking for approval from other people, that's a demon spirit. Okay? That's a demon spirit that is plaguing your life. Came from a woman. I'm learning this ocean and all of this stuff. It came from a water spirit woman to turn you into water. That's what she's doing. Turning you into Water. Water makes you unstable. The waves of the sea, a man that wavers, it's water. Yeah. If you've had relationships with women in the past, you got to get before the Lord, tell God, forgive me and break all ties, everything. Everything she gave you, everything she told you, whatever, because you sometimes these water spirits come through old relationships and affect your new relationship yeah sometimes old girlfriends have more power than your current wife depending on what she took from you yeah and so you got to know who you are or you will waver and if you waver you can't get anything from god so you can't come before God not knowing who you are. Even if you're a sinner and you blew it, you come before God, I'm a sinner and I blew it. But I'm still your son. I'm still your child. Amen. You got to, you got to know who you are. Who do people say you are? Very important. You may think this is not important. I don't care. Only God can judge me. You a lie. Cops can judge you. The judge can judge you. You a lie. <laughs> don't you ever believe that Tupac mess. There's a whole bunch of folk can judge you. Your boss can judge you. Amen. Change that check. <laughs> With his judgment. Yeah. So don't, don't, don't you do that. But who do people say you are? You may think this is not important. But the ones that love you definitely have an opinion of you. It's okay to probe them for this. It's okay to ask them what they think of you, how they feel, even about the job you're doing. What do you think? It's okay. But you pretty much know if you are honest with yourself. Most of the time you're asking them to check what you already know. Look at somebody and say, you know you. Man, you know you. You know the you that we don't know. 
Amen. Amen. Yeah, you know you. So you really don't have to ask anybody. <laughs> you know. God knows you better than anyone. He has also foreseen who you should be. And if you line up with that, you will live a life pleasing to yourself and him. This will change people's view of who you were into who God is making you. Amen. So God is working on you if you are trying to line up with him. If you're not trying to line up with him, he's not working on you. This increases your witness to the lost and your power to those that believe. Jeremiah 29 and 11, for I know the thoughts and plans that I have for you, says the Lord, thoughts and plans for welfare and peace and not for evil, to give you hope in your final outcome. That's God's plan for every one of us. So if we follow his plan, we can have peace. Amen? We can have peace. Then, second thing, you got to know who she is. Who is she? Who you think it is? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. These are the three things that will make you solid. Your wife should be a reactor to you. When you establish order, she should fall in place. Amen. Now, this looks different in different situations. You don't force her to fall in order. And you don't force God's order on her. You'll never get it that way. Amen. You don't use your masculine strength to overthrow her. Amen. This is not what I'm saying. I have to say that because folk lie on me. When you establish order, she should fall in place. That means when you are doing it the way God does, says for you to do it, meaning honoring her as the weaker vessel. You hear that? When you honor someone as a weaker vessel, there's an understanding that she is weaker in her understanding. And so I have to come to her a certain way to provide this information to her to make her adaptive to it instead of forcing it on her to make her run from it. Does that make sense? Yeah, so you gotta establish order. And she should fall in place. Many times because of how relationships may have started. If y'all was living together, sleeping together, you was, whatever the case, then now you gotta process. You gotta process on your hand. First you gotta gain her trust as you being a man of God. Cause you was wilding when y'all wasn't married. So you can't get saved and try to force the order and y'all was knocking boots for four years before you got... <laughs> amen. 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 That takes some time because you went the... You went the back... You took the back road. Amen. So you can't try to establish order too quick. It's a process. It's a process. Hang in there though because God's process is work. We got a church full of it. Amen. His process worked. Some of y'all thought y'all was married to Jezebel's great, great granddaughter. And God changed her heart and she follows your leadership now. Amen. It didn't come easy, but it came. Because that was God's process. Amen. But if you, you know, you don't force it and yell it and scream it and all of that. And you've been wild and you look stupid. Amen. So depending on how the relationship started, this can be a process, but ne it's necessary in order for you to please God with your family. If you are single, you should establish who you are before she is in the picture. So once you establish who you, who you are, then you, you look for a woman. If not, she will easily take the lead of your relationship and change you into what she desires. Now, how does she do that? Mommy Wata? She saw weakness. She saw that you were water. A weak man is water. I know y'all watch Bruce Lee's video, be water. Water you put in the glass. Was that racist? Oh. 
He said, well, he was lying. He's dead, too. I don't want to do nothing Bruce Lee did. No, she's going to turn you into water because she can overpower you if you're water. If you're single, though, establish yourself before she's in the picture or she's going to take the lead and change you into what she desires. There is no match. There is no match made in heaven and there are no soulmates. Amen. All that's new age. That's new age. That's new age. All men and women are the same at the core. We just all had dif different experiences. Amen. All women have to be one and buy into the plan of her man. Amen. God ain't going to bring you nobody and she automatically want to do everything you want to do. Are you crazy? You wish. No, she's got to buy into your plan. Your plan has to be convincing. This does not come naturally. It doesn't come naturally. Man mess. I mean, uh, Eve messed that up in the garden. The Bible said he was going to put enmity between us, men and women. So it's not going to come naturally. She's not going to naturally want to follow you. That has to be taught to her. So you make sure you get a woman that want to learn it. Amen. It's not does not come naturally, but comes when she believes in God's way. First Peter three and seven. Likewise, ye husbands dwell with them, women, according to knowledge. Y'all hear that? What am I giving y'all right now? Knowledge. knowledge. So you do not fist and anger and and masculinity. Nope. You dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and being heirs together of the grace of life so your prayers won't be hindered and three finally who God is you got to know to be solid got to know who God is very important you have to know and understand who God is in order to be solid God is the solid rock he doesn't move bend or break he doesn't change either he is the same always because he is not in linear time so there is no degradation altering or aging that can change him he's not in time when we understand this we understand that we cannot change him so we must change in order to be in him amen we cannot compromise and add pieces of our ideologies to his we cannot soften our stance for financial gain, friendships, or even relatives. We must stand strong on what he desires. This is what makes us unmovable and unbreakable. It's not our own ability that we stand on, but it's his power and plan that makes us solid. Amen. Amen. James 1 and 17, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is what? He don't change. That's solid. That's as solid as you can get. In order to be a solid dude in a world where folks are flaky, we must stand on truth. We must establish who we are, who we are with, and who God is in order for us to be a rock in weary times. Our words should be our bond. Don't say it if you don't mean it. Our yes should mean yes, and our no should mean no. That's solid, right? We should keep God first in the sense of never hiding him for any reason. You don't hide God for financial gain. You don't hide him to excel. You don't hide him. Amen. We don't compromise and hide God if he's the one that's going to give it to us. How would you feel if your wife hid you? Ooh, I just preached. Why you don't have no pictures of me in your phone? Well, other people use my phone and I don't want them to see. What? You don't have no pictures online. None. She hiding you. <laughs> yeah, so God don't want you hiding him to try to get something? You know how jive that is? We should keep God first. All we have that matters in this life is his way. Without it, we are like water. Listen, 
we will take the shape of whatever container we are put in. So water does. We will waver and spill out when there is turbulence in testing. That's what water does. We will boil and evaporate when things get heated. That's what water does. And we will absorb and be changed by whatever mixes in with us. Look at somebody and say, I don't want to be water. You don't want to be water. <laughs> uh, Jacob, when he was blessing his sons, he was blessing, I think it was Reuben. And he told, he called him unstable like water. We should not be water, but we should be a rock. Amen. Amen. Solid, unchanging, unmoving, and unadaptive to surroundings. When we are solid, stable, and unmoved, then our wives will rest on us. And our families will feel secure with us. The enemy can change water, but cannot penetrate a rock. Be solid rocks, brothers, and stay strong until the end. James 1 and 9 says, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man, this is how you be solid, be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to get mad. A moody man, God can't use. He's not going to trust you with anything he put in you if you're moody. Because if you're moody, he'll put, put something in you and you won't do it because of your mood. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. When you're angry, you can't do what God wants. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word. Which is able to what? Save. Save your souls. Amen. That's it. Amen. Told you it was 20 minutes. Amen. All right, we ready to take offering?